Let's talk about uh, the the loss of this. I mean, everyone expected you to win. I expected you. I mean, the world expected you expected to win. Um, so going into it, what was different? Like, were you? Uh, did you feel good going in, or was there something different this time? Um, I mean, it's always crazy going into every fight. You know, it's always so much chaos and so many things going on and. Um, Things weren't perfect, they never are. And uh, I think the, the one thing that was different was uh, it was my third title fight in nine months, and I don't think anyone's ever even attempted that before. And um, That's a lot. Yeah, I'm, but I don't make any excuses or anything like that. I mean, I've, I've fought wor in worse conditions, but um, I think the one thing that was different, I just kind of felt tired. But other than that, I mean, I'd been more tired, I guess. I just... So when you, when you get hit that hard, um, what happens to you? Like, do um, you feel it at the time, or you're, there's so much adrenaline you don't feel it? Well, I got, I got, I got clipped in the, like, the first exchange. So I got, I was knocked out on my feet, like, the first time I got hit. And, um... That must have surprised you. Well, I, it's, it's hard to really know what's going on. And so, um, in that first hit, I cut open my whole mouth, and I knocked my teeth loose. And, you know, Guys fight for five, five minute rounds and they're teeing off each other's faces the whole time and nothing like that happens. And it was just destiny. It had to go down that way. And um, it was weird. I had like no perception of like, um, I felt like almost like I couldn't see, like I could see, but I couldn't tell like how far my hand was from my face or how far she was from me. Like um, when you sit and you're not moving and you still are aware of where your body is, that's like a part of your brain that's telling you where you are in space. And it was like that kind of turned off. I was like swinging blindly. I knew she was out there, but like it was, uh, I, I really don't remember most of it. That must have been really scary then because you're aware that that's happening and also that's like in a split second you're aware of that and you're still trying to protect yourself. Well, you're aware of that and you have to try and not make it appear as if you're hurt. Right. Because if someone can tell, then they're going to swarm in on you. And so I was trying my best to make it, to kind of hide the fact that I wasn't even there anymore. Um, so do you have, like how long does a headache last after you're hit like that? Do you oh. have a headache still? No. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have a headache at all. It's not about like pain or things happening. It's just things stopped working. You know, like my my brain stopped working properly and my teeth didn't really work that properly. And how long was it that your brain was not aware of of that? How long did that take to settle down? Um, probably till like the next morning. Wow. Did you? I mean, did you worry for a minute? Like, could this be permanent? Did I really hurt myself? And maybe I'll, I won't do this again? No. To be honest, like what I was thinking, like. My honestly, like my thought, I was like, I was like uh, in the medical room, and I was like down in the corner. I was sitting in the corner, and I was like, "What am I anymore if I'm not this?" And I was literally sitting there and like thinking about killing myself. And that exact second, I'm like, "I'm nothing." I'm like, "What do I do anymore?" And no one gives a shit about me anymore without this. And then, um, to be honest, I looked up and I saw my man, Travis, was standing there, and I was looked up at him and. I was just like, I need to have his babies. I need to stay alive. <laughs> that was like, really, that was You need to stay alive. <laughs> and uh, I hadn't told anybody that. I think I only told him that. Um, but that was like what I was thinking. Like, I, I was meant to have him when, when I was at my lowest, for sure. Yeah. I don't know if I would have made it without him. To have that support system, sure. Um, that, that makes, it breaks my heart to hear, I mean, anybody looking at you, you're such a brave woman in so many ways, and so obviously strong physically and, and, and mentally to do what you do. So to hear you say that, I actually think it's a really great thing, and I'm grateful that you did say that, because there are a lot of people out there that have thoughts like that, and they're, they're looking at you going, wow, if she can have thoughts like that. Um, so you just did a lot of good for a lot of people, so thank you for saying that. <laughs> um, well, you know, I, 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 did, I did a lot of thinking, and I'm like, why did, why did this happen? Why does this have to happen like this? Because I, I do believe, like, all the best things come from the worst things. Every worst thing that happened in my life it resulted in the absolute worst things. Uh, the, as it resulted in the absolute best things. And I'm trying to think, like, what is the reason of all this? And I'm thinking, like, what my actual purpose is. And maybe just winning all the time isn't what's best for everybody. And I felt like maybe my role is, uh, you know, everyone has their moment of picking themselves off the floor. And I'd gone through several of mine, but no one had had actually seen me go through it. And maybe I just had to be that example of picking myself off the floor for everyone. And maybe that's what I'm meant for. And I really do believe I'm, 
I'm still undefeated because being defeated is a choice. Everybody has losses in their life, but I choose to always be undefeated. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Um, so uh, this is so you're going to fight again. Clearly, that's what you're saying. Um, and who do you want to fight next? Of course, I want to fight Holly. Right. I want to beat her so, and make everything yes, right again. Of course. So Holly's going to fight somebody else next. And so I'm assuming you want Holly to beat that person mm -hmm. so that no one else beats Holly. Of course, I want to be the one to beat right. her. Right. Okay. So um, poor Holly. Look out. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't feel bad for her at all. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Um, well, listen, uh, I just, I think you're amazing and you know that. I told you that last time you were here, um, but the, you just, you just won me over even more. I just, uh, you know, I think showing vulnerability and showing that, that just because you're strong, um, doesn't mean you have a soft side and a, and a vulnerable side. And I think it's important to have both. You can't, if you're just strong, you're not a human being. We all have everything that you're showing. So thank you for showing that. We have to take a break and we'll come back and talk about this amazing sports illustration. <laughs>